Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Eudora of all heroes, showing off a wonder ball game. Talk about a terrible combination of hero plus quest, because quite frankly, Eudora is super, super greedy, dies very quickly, and wonder ball just does not get online quickly. But sometimes the only option you have is a greedy quest because it's really the only completable one. So you got to take that shot. You drop low. You're sitting on death's door and you're praying that Bob delivers a tavern that stabilizes you. All right. Enjoy. Dinosaur, like that's a trend now. Have minions die? Summon minions, both doable. Oh God, it's so easy, man. Why is it so cheap? Wonder Ball. Yep, means we're just gonna dig later, right? We're going to level normal curve. Three turn wonder ball. Yeah. Unless we double buy or, you know, double by death rattles next turn. Theoretically, it could be a, an activation of wonder ball immediately. But this is just like when we took Sapphire a couple games ago. The thing that auto completes itself is the correct choice because we can't play to the other options. They cost too much resources out of hand. So, like, whether we dig and level here or double buy, we're still taking Wonder Ball because it's the only playable thing. I love fighting turn four Millhouse. My hero. Well, at least we killed the two star off the board. That's something. Enjoy your two-star curve on Millhouse. Hit two people really hard. That's just who you are. All right. We have take pair, play on board, or buy, sell, sunbake, and hero power, or sell droplet by selfless hero power pretty much always a a take selfless line right next turn we're going to want to double buy in hero power and then the following turn level in hero power we'll have wonder ball online too yeah, this is a good example of a game where the quest reward is not the focus the quest itself has to be our focus. Only one of the options was a playable quest. Unfortunately, for us being Eudora, all we're doing is fighting three-star tempo here in Millhouse the turn before. So, like, we're just kind of dead. But we're Eudora. There's always a dream next turn. Believe in the dream. All right, so no mirror shield online. Failing going the four and getting a free four star kind of sucks here too. I miss the days of turn four dig. Oh, so toxic. Meh. 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 Yeah. 
We're getting all kinds of meh. Meh. Alright. At least we only take seven or six damage here, depending on which way we hit. Unfortunately, it's seven, not six, because we could be above damage cap. All right, let's see it. Believe. Stasis. I see. <laughs> All right, how are we not dead? Hmm. Roll in for Agamagan. Take the brand and hope we don't die from 15. <laughs> Goddamn troll, Bob. A Goddamn troll! You gotta freeze? Nah, I think we'll just pass. Just like, nah, fuck it. Just don't die. Imagine not taking the 50-50 there and taking damage. Only 24 to die. Meh. I like that meh hit up front. That one's not great. Uh-oh. We're leaving things alive. Things need to not be alive. All right. Not dead. Let's go. I wonder, Ball. Show us the direction. All right. Print the gold for me. I did not see that on the board. That's sad. Thinking we need to play a little quicker here. Naturally. Wonder Ball. Show me the direction. What are we at here? We had a lot, right? Know me. Know me indeed. Yes. Good hit there, Leroy. You had one fucking job. It was not to go directly into the selfless hero. Dude, I'm liking this not dead golden brand line. That's pretty cool. No me domo, we wouldn't have gold. We'd have gotten nowhere close to here. Another brand, nice. I mean, we have to play immediately in the tempo here. Or... We look for better. Oh my god. And we have a lot of rolls here to go get a Toxman.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> there are so many things to do. Um, we're going to get out of one. It's going to be you. I don't care about that last board. Can't say I love dying here after full committing to tempo on the board. Not my favorite hit. We actually committed everything too, other than sell the brand for the Baron. Like, holy shit. Woo! <laughs> he is crazy strong. Okay. Wonderball. Why won't you give me direction? Wonderball. Make my board better. There's your poison or divine shield, Murloc. Too bad we don't have anything else to play with it yet. I don't think we try to play Baron yet. We just do it like this. That this thing is a bit more valuable than 60% of a Divine Shield or whatever we would get off of Selfless plus Baron because we can't play it first. Alright. Very large Murgles. But we have enough poison on this board to get there. That's one of them. That was not. All right. All right. All right. Not dead. We'll take it. Dead Flurgle. Pirate needs to go. Not yet. Like, it's better than everything else that's on our board. So, like, selling it is throwing. Does it go soon? Yeah. But, like, not this turn. Like now, this turn, but last turn was what I'm saying for this turn. This turn, yeah, it's the first thing to go off the board. Interesting. We have a lot of gold. I don't value this much. It's really just Toxfin. Stats on Murlocs is good. We can get out of Leroy. But if we don't get Toxfins, we're just not getting there yet. Thing is, we have a Divine... There you go. We have a Divine Shield here. So, like, the value of that is really high. The Begurgles give stats to a Divine Shield minion that doesn't have poison yet. Now, we have poison. So it's a little bit different. Don't think we're ever playing into this. We're not going to sell through a slot. Why is Begurgle worth it and not Jug? Because it doesn't target the same things. Jug hits this thing, which is already infinite stats. It dies to poison and whatnot. And the Begurgle targets the Divine Shield minion that didn't have poison.
Interesting. Interesting opening hits. We got a value trade here where we shouldn't get a value trade. Bran hitting the only thing on the board that is capable of value trading is a nightmare to him. Uther selfless. Yeah, it's okay. We can do through the selfless. If we get the golden selfless era, though, we do through the Baron and we get out of the Bran for the long term. Uthering the selfless does make it so it can potentially trade something here. Interesting. Because we can continue to play for stats or we can just be in on the poison stuff. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. All right. This totally won't be a long turn. I wish I had you a second ago. You want the taunt? Probably not. Okay. I, I have to do it in this order. That sucks, actually. Dig. We'll worry about this later. Because we don't have the gold for the sparring partner here. I want to be able to taunt up this guy. Why, little murloc? Why? Why? Why did you have to do that? Yo, Gray Lego with the three months. Yo, Gray Lego, thank you so much for the, the resub. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we have the Golden Baron. We have the Golden Selfless. We have Poison. We had a choice in the middle of that turn with the Burgurgle, playing it through with Bran. You could sell the Burgurgle, then sell Bran, then sell... Or put Amalgam down and poison Amalgam if we wanted to. It was kind of an interesting point there. We also can play around Leroy lines here by playing Ghoul instead. And that may just be the better option. We just go four minions with Divine Shield against a non-four minion Divine Shield board. Whether we want this or this is just the debate. I think we go the, the... Well, that's interesting. I don't think it's good, but it's interesting. Because he has no stats on his board. We just get the ghoul to go off. And we kill him. I'm going to put it on the board too. Because I'm not going to play anything else through. And I'm just going to use Wisdom Ball to potentially mirror our board. Because a golden one's even better. It kills the 1515s. Mirror me board, bro. That's the mirror board. We'll dig again. <laughs> Why not? That's so annoying that he has his own ghoul. <laughs> it's so ridiculously annoying that this board actually is somewhat of a counter to our board because he has his own ghoul. The ghost had a ghoul on the board. <laughs> I get a chance to die to that. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. All right. 
Ah, oh, too bad. I was hoping we get this guy because the ghoul just hard counters him. Boo. Naturally. <laughs> Naturally, Pop. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Alright, there's Elemental Cleave on five Murloc board. Nah. I'm gonna use this as a bumper. Got him! <laughs> nice. Alright. Good job, Wisdom Ball. Well played. That was a scary game. Yo, Sally Pants with the four gift subs. The batch of gift subs. Sally Pants, thank you so much. As always. Woo! <laughs> Wisdom Ball is bad at competitive MMR. I think it is. Doesn't mean it can't work when you high roll. We're on the up and up. 